The ABC leadership is being grilled as we speak in that Senate uh, um, Estimates Committee. And there's going to be a big focus, uh, there already is, on political bias, as expressed, of course, by one of the ABC's most senior journalists, the 7.30 political reporter Laura Tingle, who's also the staff-elected member of the ABC board. I mean, we are a racist country, let's face it. We always have been, and it's very depressing. But to give a licence like that, I find profoundly depressing and a terrible prospect for the next election. Yeah, we're all racist and the evil coalition under Peter Dutton is playing to those racist undertones, apparently. It was a really comically far-left rant from Tingle and Peter Dutton has had his say on this today. Laura Tingle's outed herself now as somebody who is a partisan. She's a Green slash Labor supporter. Uh, she is political in nature and therefore her credibility as uh, a journalist um, really is shot. I took up the issue with a man who oversaw the ABC for many years, the Howard Government Communications Minister, Richard Alston. Oh, look, Tingle is symptomatic of all that's wrong with the ABC. I mean, she's caught out making outrageously one-sided comments. Uh, she's rightly rebuked by Justin Stevens, but not a scintilla of apology or regret. Uh, simply, I'm proud of all I do. I mean... What's, what's all that about? In other words, it's business as usual as far as Tingle's concerned. And uh, we all know that um, there's, the ABC Act prohibits this sort of behaviour. Uh, ACMA, who's the regulator, has said in no uncertain terms that you simply can't behave like this. When it happened last time with Andrew Probin, the ABC just ignored ACMA's ruling. So. I don't know what's going to change. I think Kim Williams is a breath of fresh air in one respect, and I think he's handled this quite cleverly. Uh, he shouldn't be the focus of it, but, so he's got Justin Stevens to read the riot act, and he has. But you've got people like Sarah Ferguson who just constantly interrupt people who just wear their bias as a badge of honour, and Tingle's pretty much the same. So I despair in some respects because unless they sort of let her her tenure expire. She's not going to resign, obviously. You mentioned Justin Stevens, the news director, yes. stepping in. Uh, the statement he issued yesterday said the ABC's editorial standards serve a vital role, which makes you wonder why they're not enforced very often. And Laura's been reminded of their yeah. application at external events as well as in her work. And I've counselled her over her remarks. Now, is counselling enough or does the ABC at some stage need to either suspend or dismiss someone who keeps ignoring these standards? standards of object objectivity, which, as you point out, are actually enshrined in law. Look, I think the, re the reason why this has taken some days to, to even get to this point is I have no doubt Tingle absolutely refused to do anything. Um, no apologies, no cooperation, no acceptance. And that's the problem. How do I deal with that? Well, they've got to move people on. And as I say, if she's not going to resign now, she should have a tenure uh, terminated. And, I just want to show you, uh, so I just want to show you uh, something else. Been, yeah, <laughs> well, you've thrown Sarah Ferguson into that one as well. Well, Sarah Ferguson's never, uh, Ferguson oh, has never, bad. she has never apologised for or corrected her three-part series that suggested Vladimir Putin yeah. installed Donald Trump in the White House. Yeah. So the ABC's never corrected oh, that yeah. one. I want to go to another yeah. part of what uh, Laura Tingle had to say, because I think this is very instructive about how she views Australia and therefore how many in the ABC yeah. view the country they live and work in. Have a listen. For a major political leader to be saying, as Nikki says, you know, everything that's going wrong in this country is because of migrants. And, you know, I had this sudden flash of people turning up to try to rent a property or at an auction and they look a bit different, whatever you define different as, that basically he has given them licence 
Yeah, Richard Alston, what Laura Tingle there is actually doing is inventing words. She's verbaling Peter Dutton. She's saying that he said things he never said. And she's also suggesting that people are going to be abused if they turn up at real estate auctions and look a little different. Now, I don't know what sort of an Australia she lives in. She thinks everybody looks like her. But if you go to a real estate auction anywhere in Sydney or Melbourne, guess what? People turn up and they look like they come from a wide variety of ethnic backgrounds. You don't know whether they're Australian or from overseas or not. This is the Australia that we live in today and yet somehow she thinks it's one of horrible racial divisions and abuse. Yeah, and she hasn't backed down at all. She still says we've got a, a racial issue. I mean, you go around the world, Australia's world's best practice in many respects. We don't have racial riots here. Uh, and people like Tingle are just incorrigible. They obviously simply live in their own bubble and they refuse to get out of it. She won't take any serious notice of anyone except herself. In the UK, they call them big beasts. She's almost too big to, for people to control. Now, I was hopeful that Kim Williams would be the solution to this problem because he, can, he by given his background, and he's married to Gough Whitlam's daughter, uh, he's, and he's been a lifelong Labor man all his life, so it's not a party political issue. It's just adhering to the Charter. And, and respecting what's required. And, uh, but these people just think they can get away with it, almost anything. I mean, he warned her weeks ago. She obviously took no notice of that. Yeah, indeed. It looks like it's going to be more of the same. Thanks so much for joining us, Richard. I appreciate your time.